Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js and this video also includes PHP and socket communication. So we will be discussing socket communication between Node.js and PHP. Sockets are useful for both standalone and network applications. Sockets allow you to exchange information between processes on the same machine or across a network. Distribute work to the most efficient machine and they easily allow access to centralized data. Okay, in Node.js we will be using the module called net and the function we will be using is net.createServer which receives options and connection listener. So in the options we have allow half open, pause on connect, connection listener and the returns create a new TCP or IPC server. Okay, let's look at the options that are being passed to the create server function of net library. Allow half open is if uh, allow half open is set to true when the other end of the socket sends a fin packet the server will only send a fin packet back when socket dot end is explicitly called until then the function is half closed non-readable but still writable see end event and rfc 112 section for more information the second option is pause on connect it indicates whether the socket should be passed paused on incoming connections the default is false if pause on connect is set to true the then the socket associated with each incoming connection will be paused and no data will be read from its handle. This allows connections to be passed between processes without any data being read by the original process. To begin reading data from the paused, paused socket, call socket.resume. The server can be a TCP server on or an IPC server depending on what it listens to. Here is an example of a TCP echo server which listens for connections on port 8124. Let's try this example. First of all, let's create a project directory and I'm going to name it node php socket. Set the permissions node php socket. Okay, let's move into this directory node php socket and okay let's create our first file let's say let's call it sample.js okay so we need the net library then we need the server at library to create the server for us here we can log if client is connected to the server And now we define an action listener that detects if the client has disconnected from the server or not. So in this action listener we can say client disconnected. That's it. And then we can send something some string hello backslash r backslash n to the client and c dot pipe c okay okay that was the server object then we can define server dot on error so this is triggered if there is an error here we can throw the error as it is okay at the end we start listening on the port 8124 and 
do the following console dot log server bound okay okay let's save this file and let's run it sample dot js okay it says server bound so our server is up and running to test this we can use the telnet utility it is normally available in on all platforms including linux ubuntu windows and mac os so i'm going to connect to localhost on port 8124 and i'm connected and it says hello this means our server is up and running if i change it to something like hello socket programming from uh tech weber save the file and let's close my connection okay after that we have changed the string that is sent from the server to the client hello socket promising from tech weber let's stop our server and run it again and let's connect the telnet again and this time we got hello socket programming from tech weber so our server is successfully running on node.js on port 8124 Okay let's move on to the real program of node.js that we will be using stop the sample.js server and we are going to create a new file node.js Okay in this file we are going to create a net object requiring the net module listen port 3000 this time you will be using port 3000 you can use any port above 1024 so it doesn't matter because the first 1024 ports are occupied by your operating system for its own processing and communication so we cannot use those ports okay create server function socket okay can we use the function so we need no don't need the arrow function console dot log client connected soc dot on action listener data on receiving the data we are going to manipulate that data so we are going to console dot log that data to data received plus data var data obj we are going to parse that data and console dot log item id data obj dot item id then we have the action listener and this is executed when the client has disconnected so in this function we can just say console dot log client disconnected log dot pipe
ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव एट द एंड इज लिसनिंग पार्ट सर्वर डॉट लिसन यू कैन से लिसन पोर्ट एंड द फंक्शन सेइंग द सर्वर हैज स्टार्टिंग सो वी कैन से लिसनिंग ऑन पोर्ट लिसन पोर्ट के दैट्स इट फॉर द नोट पार्ट Okay, let's do the PHP part now. So let's create the PHP file and name it web dot php. Okay, we are going to turn on the error porting. we are going to use the same port as we did in node.js address will be localhost which is 127.0.0.1 okay let's create the socket socket equals here we have the socket create function if i net and the type is soc stream and protocol is so ltcp okay let's check if we have successfully created the socket object and it is working otherwise we throw an error saying socket create failed reason socket str error socket underscore last error dot backslash n for a line return and okay let's move forward connect to node app result equals socket connect here we pass in the socket object and here we pass the address which is the local host and at the end we pass in the port which is 3000 okay let's check if we have connected successfully or, or not if result was false go socket connect failed reason and here we can show the reason socket underscore okay failed reason just show the result here socket underscore str error socket underscore last error and in the last error we can pass in the socket object and at the end we can have backslash n and that's it okay the last part data we want to send okay the data we want to send from php to node js item id 34567 okay steam id you can give any random number no issues okay other info hi there okay that's it prepare to transmit it in data is equal to json encode data okay 
socket right socket object and have the ENC data and at the end we have the length of your length the data we are sending that is the length of the JSON string okay let's close the socket and go sent data backslash n for line space and that is all of our php script now let's see if we are able to successfully run it you know, our example okay, first let's start the node part node.js okay we have the server up and running on port 3000 as you can see on the console Okay, now we need to run the PHP file which is web.php. Let's try if we can run it from the console. Okay, send data and on the server you see we got client connected. Then we printed out data received which was item ID, steam ID and other info. Hi there. And we printed out the item ID and afterwards the client was disconnected. Okay, let's try sending and receiving some other thing like we can print out the steam ID. Here we are printing the item ID. We can also print steam ID. and we can print other info other info save this file run the node server again and this time from the php side You don't need to change anything just run this file and now you can see we have printed out item id steam id and other info hi there so this was a very basic example of how you can communicate between node.js and php using socket programming it is a very interesting subject and you will enjoy it when you will work on this example and if you want to extend it the source code of this video training is available on my github repository you can easily download it from there and try it on your own or you can extend it if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time in new topic in node.js